gardeners, this is Nisel and welcome back to Soul and Garden. Today we will talk about the Vanda and other orchids that have been infected with fungus and how to treat them in the most natural way. There are so many kind of fungicides that are available in the market today. Only that most of them are composed of synthetic chemicals that can be harmful for us when we inhale them. For us to stay safe, it is better to use uh, natural and organic fertilizers or fungicides that um, are good for plants too. And one of the best uh, natural fungicides is this, hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, it's, it's baligtad. <laughs> Please don't mind if this is baligtad or turn the other way. But this is hydrogen peroxide and this is not only good for humans, but this is also good for plants. And the reason for that is because um, hydrogen peroxide is safe for plants too because this has the same atom composition as that of water. The only difference is that hydrogen peroxide has um, extra oxygen molecules and that what makes it beneficial in plants. Let me correct myself. It is not oxygen molecules, but oxygen atoms. Okay, these extra oxygen atoms and hydrogen peroxide helps uh, the growth of roots in plants. And it also helps in treating root rot, um, killing fungus when used as a foliar spray, and also in preventing infection. Yes, I have here my list <laughs> in case I forget. Okay, now the hydrogen peroxide that is safe for plants is this uh, the one with a 3% solution. Okay, in order to use this as antifungal, uh, we will dilute this in one cup of water. Um, let me check. Okay, one tablespoon. We will dilute one tablespoon in one cup of water and we will spray that uh, into our plants like the vanda. But before going on, let me uh, show you the fungus that has infected my vanda. The fungus on the vanda and orchids are the black spots that we see on the stems and on the leaves of these plants. Let's go and check them. Look at this one. These are the fungus that has infected my vanda. And this became worse after the rain. This is my uh, dancing lady orchids. And they are also affected infected also this one look at them this one is already flowering but look at the leaves here there are so many and this really needs immediate attention because if these are left untreated, this may lead to uh, the death of our plant. Luckily, as of this time, this vanda is um, a bit healthy. But I really need to spray this immediately with fungicide. And also this other one, look. See. this one has turned into yellow I don't know if this is natural or it may be the cause of this uh, fungus that have that has gone wild oh. see Here are now the materials that 
we need in order to dilute this hydrogen peroxide so we have this spray bottle and then this one cup of water or hydrogen peroxide and a spoon and also my cut is here and so let's um, pour this peroxide in the spoon on the spoon okay oh here okay and we'll put this here dilute in one cup of water and we will pour this on this spray bottle We will now spray these leaves. Let's spray the infected leaves Does and it work? yes, it works. My son is there again. And in order for this to be effective, we have to uh, do this uh, twice a month, so every two weeks. But. Uh, for prevention because for treatment we have to do this uh, twice a month for prevention we have to spray this once a month and this is also good to prevent diseases and also to treat seeds that's how beneficial this hydrogen peroxide to plants are look at the stem yeah, it's very black. Cool. Okay. That would be all for today. I hope you learned something again. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tips in gardening. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 -bye. On the leaves of Vanda. Van and on the leaves.